Mimi nataka kusoma pia I had this condition before bipolar condition ni kama hereditary factor in our family my daughter also had it but tume endelea na medicine my doctor is a psychiatrist called Dr Shigamo I have a question is it true anaongea na Elon Musk maybe can be can be raised him money dog was case and our sister uh, Eunice I'm here to do uh, a thorough follow up on that Uh, we promise to clear the medical bills and maybe transfer the patient to uh, another rehabilitation center in Mombasa. So today is a very good day. I'm just from taking Mashimiwa Sonko. So we are going to Madare Hospital. We are going to do two things. One, we are going to confirm how much bill is there for Kimani Mbugwa and for Uni Somolo. And then we're going to discuss with them and see how the arrangements can be, made, can be made so we can transfer them to Mombasa. So Mashima Sonko and the whole convoy is behind me. Uh, that's the way the day is today. I've already spoken with uh, Lawrence. He's the one handling uh, Eunice uh, Omolo. The wife is uh, was a schoolmate, yes, of Eunice Omolo. And he's been calling me, oh, bro, bro. So uh, he's really been passionate about helping Eunice. And that's how he brought Eunice to my attention. Eunice is bipolar. I'm going to say he has bipolar. I don't know the right words for it, but I'll check. So there's that situation, there's a rent situation, there's children school fee situation. So we're going to sort that out. And then also Kimani Mbugwa, we're going to make sure that he also goes to the rehab in uh, in Mombasa. Oh, also Eunice also has an alcohol problem because when she was very depressed and uh, everything was happening, she resulted to drinking alcohol. So this is what happens. When purpose, when a man by man I mean woman or man I'm using the man term as a general term when man lacks purpose they use pleasure to distract themselves so when everything was happening and unis you know when the job ended everything was happening so she had to distract herself with alcohol and also she has an alcohol problem so also she has to also go to the rehab as well as well as the treatment yeah so that's what's up so I'm gonna inform you guys uh, how the day is gonna is gonna happen and then let's see and like I always say thank you guys so much so so much for everything that you guys have done for Kimani and for Eunice and by the way if Roho, Roho Safi Ishike Roho ya Mungu Ishike Mwishimu Asonko Nasema na lipa everything for Eunice na Kimani you see the money that we have ile tumechanga tunayo kutafta watu wengine wili ama mtu mgine moja Hiyo pesa lazimi tumike for the same same purpose that was supposed to happen. We have to take someone else to rehab. We have to take someone else for uh, for uh, medication because you know some copy is the tibu kila mtu hazi saidia kila mtu ana saidia watu wengi. So because it tulikuja pamoja and we have that purpose, kama hawa wili wamesotiwa, we will deviate the funds to something else of a similar uh, objective. But I'll discuss with Baba Kimani, we we'll see what's possible. Uh, what I was thinking is Uh, we'll give Baba Kimani about 100,000 for the transport and logistics because we atakuwa anaenda kuona kuona Kimani akiwa Mombasa so there's that part and then also uh, we can put 100,000 or more we'll discuss into Kimani's savings account so akitoka kwa rehab about one year later atapata 100,000 iko ya kumngoja kwanza maisha the same same thing we'll do for Yunis uh, Omolo pia kitoka huko apate kuna ka pesa fulani kakuanza nayo life alafu balance tuta control nayo kwingine si ndio haya abloga wa shafik eh No photos, no photos. Eh? Some I'll buy the photos, video I I
This is Lawrence. He's the one handling Eunice yeah. Omolo. He was the one putting everything together. The wife and Eunice went to school together. So when Eunice was uh, going to the doll, they were there, wakam shikile, wakam leka hapa. Then this is Baba Kimani. Sasa hindo tumekua tunangangana nao. So ni hawa wili. And then the dog. And madak, dog dog ni watatu. Nwa mekua ni hana. So I think you can just walk inside. Yeah, yeah, okay. And also the policy of the photography inside okay. the hospital. Thank you. After Here hapa, uko. After hapa, Mr. Chukwe. Oh, after hapa, iko sawa. So to malize sai ama to nini badai? Malize sai. Ay, wacha to malize sai. So muko sawa? Yeah. Short iko sawa ama to songe? Munataka aji? Muko sawa. Muko sawa? Ay, baba kima ni songe ni hapa? Takumi. Ay. How are you? Aya leteni maswali. Nimewaletea mheshimiwa hapa. Baba Kimani uko hapa. Yeah. Lawrence uko hapa. Your wife? No, no, she's my friend wife I'm going to work. Oh, oh yeah. okay, okay. Yeah, so leteni maswali because now after here we will not be allowed to record because of the hospital the policy and the privacy for the other patients and other families. Swali ya kwanza? Okay, kuna wasi pale kwa mtandao anasema hii ni nyenye kibani mbogo na kuzuri. Yes. Ila kwa yani Doc, Doc okay. will answer that. Please come, come, come. Okay. Come to maybe, maybe for me, I'll, I'll answer that about uh, maybe our son You know, with mental illnesses, you are either in relapse or a remission. Relapse basically means if you have a condition, maybe for example, like uh, bipolar, and then uh, your bipolar is affected maybe in a Unameza madawa, you're managing, you know, una umezi madawa, you're not managing it. Maybe, for example, a trigger for bipolar can be drug use. Because maybe drug kama maybe weed in effect, maybe how, where, the way you're managing your condition. So there's relapse, I'm a remission. Remission basically means that you are no longer using your medication. You are using your medication, una, una therapy, medical, una madawa, una meza. So maybe remission be you have to do drugs, if you're not, you relapse. Yeah, and maybe therapy no I manage here, no 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 madakari here. Basically that's just does it mean that kwanga immune kwa wasi wengine na kuna wasi wengine wina kwa na some repercussion kwa wasi? When 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 you say immune, like what do you mean to say immune? Yani kuna wale wasi wengine wata tumizo drugs, lakini ya ziwa pet, but kuna wale wengine wata tumia. We jaribu honde. A drug, same a drug kama gani ne, the example ya drug. Ka, ka sana sana ka weed, juu. Ka weed. Wadu unajua weed ikona effects mingi. Na kwa kile ya binadamu basically There are chemicals in your brain Na if a chemical imbalance is created That's why unazona hizo conditions Kama hizo zanyo kongelea bipolar, schizophrenia Kuna chemical imbalance So kama kuna chemical imbalance kwa brain yako Obviously, ukitumia weed ita, ita, Weed imesha affect sa imikreti yo Chemical imbalance So obviously now Ukona condition And maybe sometimes pia Maybe ukona na condition Maybe for instance like bipolar And uh, Aujoy it trigger. Aujoy to me a kid it throw yo illness injury. What happens now when you me a bank? It may trigger to your condition. Basically, that's what you've done. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Obina. Of course, we saw very many people talking online saying this guy is very kind of stuff. But you decided to come through for him. Then they go push. Boy child, man. Nobody cares about boy child. But I'll be the first one. So I'm starting. Then Mwashumia Songo has joined me. Baba Kimani has joined me. Lawrence has joined me. And you guys have joined me. So last Mamutu Ayanze. Mm -hmm. We have very many agencies looking after girl child. But boy child is being ignored. And without the money in the society, there's a lost society. So I decided because everybody was sharing pictures and videos of Kimani. People, oh my God, it's IDN. This is so bad. Oh my God. Others making fun of him. Others clicking, uh, posting for views. But it's not going to change anything. So I decided to be the change that I want to see. And that is why we're here. And how do you feel when you see people trying to criticize you on Asema as much as Obin and Asaidia? Yeah. Why should he record? Okay, the reason why we're recording basically 
is uh, for accountability. Number one, we were raising money. So people have to know where the money is going. Secondly, for awareness. If we don't record, there's another boy in Kisumu, in Mombasa, in Kikuyu, anywhere, who might be going through the same problem, who m or also might be having friends when you're Zafanya and get the same problem. If you don't record, they'll not know. What we are doing, basically, we are disseminating uh, information. To me come, to me figure, to come here, eh, Kimani had an alcohol problem or had a drug problem or had this. When you talk about it, it makes you talk about it, makes them talk about it. But if you don't talk about it, for example, my youth system, hey, bangi, no bangi simbaya. Boru na ipika kome medite, to me relax, to me shiva, nini, nini. But to get down about Kimani, he thinks different because he has seen different. But if he didn't talk about it, to akatu zili nyaje, meditation, bro. Na kujiako polite, na relax. Ikilipukia umse, sake juka zi mshika tu. But we were there last time with Wakimani. What we saw there, a lot of young people. Unambiwa drug, drug, drug. See, you're here. Yes, you know. True. Majority wa kwapa because of? Drugs. Which drug? Bangi. Bangi. Uh, Alcohol, Chavis. cigarettes, Chavis. Mira. Even Mira. So is this a movement you're starting to help? Yes, I am beginning a movement. And I'm hoping that wanaume watu watani join. Because wanaume siu konele shidi akuchekeleana. Kama siyo yako. But on a Samangu Kona, Mozaka, and Yolewa, Chaco, you find a little bit of Tia Maji. One of the Sukwa Zilinaje, the same way, and I always talk about gender based violence and mental wellness. And I always say gender based violence, see one woman to Kupiga Dame, Nipia Dame, Kupiga Manaume. But I had to get them tiny, Leo Mini Kipiga coffee in a dame. Was on a check glass and check even a big one a dame. But Mini Kipiga Dame coffee, everything goes to. So that's what I'm talking about. For one woman to answer Konga, what the same as Sipiani Binadamu. We also need the attention, we need the support, we need the love, we need the care, and we also need the information to know what is wrong. We are not perfect. We are human beings. We make mistakes. But if I talk about it, and if I'm going through a problem, you don't laugh about it, you don't laugh at me, but we are going to have a better society. So it's a movement, and I'm hoping that we'll work the journey together. Can I ask you from Yes, yes. 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 <laughs> My name is Leon Bidibu from National. Um, before President Uru Kenyatta left, we used to have a mental health task force, yes. which is no longer functioning, number one. Number two, the Minister of Health, uh, Department for Mental Health, does not even have a head. He resigned. We are even struggling to get comments from the Ministry of Health on what they have been doing in regards to mental health in the country. So as much as we are talking about awareness, is our system failing us? Uh, I don't think that our system is failing us. Uh, when somebody is not there, definitely we have some other guys in uh, acting capacity. So that should not be a reason for us not uh, performing in this particular sector. We've seen here with the administrators, the doctors in charge, Actually, we've come here for uh, a follow-up case. Uh, I was at Obina's show. Many guys go there for peer exercise. Actually, I normally don't give a false promise. In, I may say, in politics, uh, I want to give you a very good example. Ten years ago, we had a, a very bad case from Mombasa. Uh, the terror attack on the church where a baby was shot on the head. Today, I'm with that baby, ten years down the line, and I'm still taking uh, good care of that particular baby. So this is the same case, the reason why I'm here. Obina raised Kimani Mugwa's case, and our sister uh, Eunice. I'm here to do uh, a thorough follow-up on that. Uh, we promise to clear the medical bills, and maybe transfer the patient to uh, another rehabilitation center in Mombasa. By that, I don't mean that Madari doctors are just a case, no. No, no, no. Actually, to Meskia from the dad that Kimani Mbugwa is due for a uh, discharge in a week's time. So, Kumanisha, and I improve na, na, na chance yake na, and I really am Our sister, you know, Pia, we have heard she's due for discharge today. So, Labda, Pia, Kwenda Mali, Kuna Kondis of Environment, Pia, in Asaidia, Kwa Hima, Kwa Hima, Mina, Kwa Hima, Pia, I had this condition before, bipolar condition, become a hereditary factor in our family. My daughter also had it, but to me, and the medicine, my doctor is a, a psychiatrist called Dr. Kigamo, to end up for checkups and everything. So, he's here to kufanya PR nayo, I'm to enjoy while they want to undergo that particular condition. No, 
hiyo condition unakula dawa vizuri na kufuata vile doctors wana sakati zao wanakuambia you'll be okay au zoanza a patient ya ya, ya bipolar so we are here also to encourage the family baba ke, uh, kim family ya unis uh, wa poor strong these are common things this normal part of of, of our daily uh, life thank you and much more you are expect for family for any particular thing but despite all that you still have the you see the kindness to help people uh, maybe can you tell us what helps you to be kind to people and also to okay i'm not here uh, for politics mamba 2027 will talk to you atika ongea hapa because i don't want to be i'm capitalizing on the situation right now at the moment tumekuja kuona wagonjwa i'm not talk about politics that is we always say gold time is the best in politics mm -hmm. so when 2027 reaches tuta tutajua kama ni kutoka uwanjani tutajitupa but for now let's deal with the issue of patients don't let us not politicize this issue of our patients we are here to uh, fulfill the promise that i made during the previous show this guy so ko ni leader wa PR ama leader wa mafipindre i'm not here for mafipindre i'm here to help vile nilikuwa nime nime promise hapo mbeleni so for another forum i'll be able to answer that but for now let's deal with the the issue that has brought us here now yeah. obina yeah. i have a question for you considering you're a seasoned journalist huh? okay actually i was obina sintan yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes so obina um borrowing from kimani's lesson are we as journalists in our line of work prone to mental health and substance abuse issues yes because there's been that there's been that discussion that we are not really talking about yes so journalists are uh, let me use the word high risk uh, because of the work we do we work under so much pressure like today morning i think i posted this thing about 10 minutes to the time we're here but i'm getting i'm finding people at the gate i'm like oh yo okay so that was too quick that's too pressure then people expect you to deliver and the journalists uh, life where uh, journalism life we are me and you are coming from from radio and newspaper and tv mm -hmm. you know the pressure that was there yes. from your bosses to everybody to deliver mm -hmm. and then sometimes the remuneration is not worth the whole hassle then also backlash online people expect you to live a certain way they forget that journalists are also just human beings so sometimes you know when a man lacks purpose they distract themselves with pleasure mm -hmm. so that's why you find umevutwa job ama una haso ama hiyo kiondo hajapatiwa ni report kufanya ni nini what do you do mnakunywa wapi wacha nipitie base mnapiga jaba wapi wacha nipitie base so we distract ourselves with pleasure then now bad company inaendelea leo kesho then unajipata umeshakuwa addict mm -hmm. na umezoea and now that one leads into other things as well mm -hmm. so journalist a one and also we have other uh, careers as well but because I'm a journalist I'll talk about that one mm -hmm. now part of something that was said during your show something that came out clearly was the fact that uh, our friend joined the media industry when he was so young eh? yeah his age factor and exposure to that media kind of environment another risk factor and how can that be addressed no age is not really a factor to be a journalist mm -hmm. it's just uh, i will talk about personal uh, self esteem mm -hmm. because we have journalists who started at a young age mm -hmm. and they never changed we have ones who started at a very older age and they changed mm -hmm. it depends with the person your personality how strong is your personality mm -hmm. then how weak are you as a person because we have people who ma beshita kwa kusema leo tukitoka hapa toni shere ataenda but kuna sema pana mimi naenda ku edit hizi whatever ni post mm -hmm. so age is not really a factor but your friends the company you keep then also your personal well being your personality and your self esteem there are people who want to fit in we we you know the people have lost because nataka mm. kufit in lakini mwe shapa pia wewe unaonegea kwa life yake nini umeona umechukua it happens with many other people mm. so age is not really a factor mm. yes but what what i really want us to do how we can help is to guide mimi nimekono naenda lion akwambia lion ni aje ni wrong ni aje btg ni hapa ni nini ni aje spm ni ni aje hapa change hapa hivi but pia wengine pia wasikie because naweza kuambia ndio lakini sikio la kufa and it's key down now which me back to your bit yes. as governor part of the evolution was to democratize healthcare to machinani and that includes mental health we've not seen that happening there is a lot of uh, laxity especially the people who are traveling even all the way from very far places to this place just to access mental health services what do you have to tell them because you might save kimani today but there are a million other Kimani. Kenyans yeah, yes. out there who also need services and functionally speaking the evolution seems to have failed us at this point 
actually health is one of the sector that was devolved lakini for instance I'll talk about Nairobi county when I was the governor we will like a very big rehabilitation center for city park we have one there was one which was under construction actually I forgot to mention for sure yako okay. a very big rehabilitation center uh, RY ambayo inaendelea we are one also in Makadara kuna ingine decorate so we normally tuna what to especially walevi what to under influence of drugs we normally bring them together to our local rehabilitation centers we had our own psychiatrist from our uh, county hospitals walikuwa wanakuja every time at least uh, twice a day jioni usiku walikuwa na visit to na uh, uh, interact na wao a lot even myself I used to to, to visit those hospitals frequently walaka chakula kuangalia ashida tofauti tofauti so my appeal to the last your question other governors so let me let that mm. wa fate hiyo mfano mm. but i want to travel all the way from mashinani kuja madhare hospital mm. uh, and by doing so we'll be decongesting this hospital mm. because i'm sure there are so many patients kwa kwa hizi maot kwa hivyo uh, governors mashinani wakielelea kwa hali hiyo mambo mingine ya healthcare for instance to we see all governors of mecca matanti hospitals and not only the mental mambo ya, ya, ya mental health but when I'm in the Paka Arena unit mm. in Mamalusi and, uh, and 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 Bagathi, we open a renal unit there. We are doing dialysis here. Mm. We did the first kidney transplant at at, at uh, Bagathi when I was the, uh, the governor. When well, health was devolved, na uh, devolution in kind of gra- uh, leadership led down to the grass, gra- gra- grassroots, not only in terms of health, in terms of all other factors, security mm. and mambo mingi mingi, mm. so that we give services to our people. Thank you very much. Haya sasa tunaweza fanya kitu tumetuleta. Asante. Asante. The right light. Maybe some of it inside like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. this side. side. Yeah. Songa hiyo, songa hiyo. Kim, ikija kwa katikati. Ni kuintroduce kwa mwe. Nice one, nice one. Let's do it. Yes.
which was the first. So, because you see, mental illness is a very difficult to, to, to diagnose. So, the blood is going to be done in Konami, it's very difficult to diagnose. It's a very difficult But finally, we are going to be diagnosed. And we come here in now among impatient and outpatient kind of patients. So, when I'm not, like yesterday, I talked to my doctor. Yes. Uh, she told me I do two more technical sessions and then I can do this. Uh, I'll see her next Tuesday. So after that, then if I will have done two psychotherapy sessions next Tuesday, then she will consider this. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. The dog Maybe we can we can let the nurses. Yeah, the nurses, the nurse professionals. <laughs> Governor. Yeah. 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 What is bipolar? What is psychosis? Mm. Actually, I was not sure. 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 I was I, I think I can call her. She can attest. Last year when I came here, I kept saying, Mike Soko, Mike Soko, Mike Soko, please come. I, like, I was like, it's only Mike Soko. That was last year when I came here. Right. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. 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 Bipolar, what causes it? How to manage it? Basically, psychosis is just a brief mental reaction. So a brief, it's just brief, but bipolar is now long term. And we cannot say there's a specific cause of bipolar. Sometimes it's genetic. Maybe sometimes it's the life experiences, trauma, like it can lead to a mental illness. Other times, uh, head injury is fear. In fact, you miss a, a teacher fear, it affects it. Drug use, fear in Asia. Like things like marijuana, cocaine, heroin, you know, that goes, uh, a condition like bipolar. But psychosis is basically just a brief mental episode, it's just a brief. Only lasts for about less than a month. Okay. But now the psychosis is on two types. There's acute and uh, brief psychosis. Brief is just for a period of less than 30 days. Acute is now for a long time, maybe more than six months. I have a question. Yeah. Is it true that you are Elon Musk? Maybe you can be Daktari, I'm going to do it. 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 I wrote to the US Embassy yesterday. Yes, and they, they, they came for the letter. I told, I told them, I told them if this, this is an American citizen who is speaking to me has come, he has changed all my social media. I have been speaking for mask to mask for the last actually he said I have known Mr. Mask. He said I have known Mr. Mask for five for the last five years. So for me when I came out to tell people that Mr. Mask called me at PM it was a normal Tuesday for okay. me. It's okay. 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 Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we can wrap up. So yeah. that we can follow. Yeah. So I brought Mashimiwa yes. because we are planning to... Mashimiwa oh. wants to take charge of your uh, uh, wellness. So we are planning of moving you to another facility in Mombasa. Place Kojestina Lipelekwa and Rakarikava. It's not that Madara is bad. But now, you know, Mashimiwa is mostly in Mombasa. So you can also be monitoring. And also we are taking Eunice Omolo as well. You know Eunice Omolo? She was at MTV. She's also a media personality. She's also on the other side. She also has bipolar as well. So we're also trying to figure out what are the finances saying, what's the process, that's why we're here. Yeah. So in Pamela too, we shall meet, now meet dad, now meet Eunice Omolo's uh, family, and then we see what's possible. I love you to remember that Taro Nafanya Kazipoa, because since we brought you, we have a lot of people, we have a lot of people, we have a lot of dad. Yeah, yeah. So, the family of So, yeah. So, for you, I've been in the for now. Let me say that 
nigeomba ile sonda ungepea kimani kama na tuko na daktari daktari and I challenge you after he has assisted you, assist many other young people in Kenya, be the champion in uh, awareness of the mental health. Mweshimua naomba kule msafara uvino liko mepanga. Nika upukia mba daktari wote tafadari. You know this one is uh, mental uh, health awareness yes. month. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so actually this time you need to talk to your friends, yes. talk to your family, mm -hmm. talk to your sons, yes. talk to your husbands, yes. talk to your uncles, your cousins because wana umwa na nyamazanga tu. Inaenda na amenyamaza tu. Kumbe yuko sawa. So talk to them and be there for them and with them. So that's the least we can do. Aya si tuko sawa. Eh why does it to me to never use any administration to one you miss someone up here and then the father, hey, she's here. What is the name? Uh, that's why we can pray together. Oh, okay. Now you are at one bear. You are not to be a bear. You are not going to be a bear. You are not going Aya tupeleke tupeleke majuki dogo aya tuka kwanza nashukuru because of uh, the initiative the mental health month of the ah ni bora tu mwanza kuomba so as we pray yes just know we appreciate it asante so we now can pray father in the mighty name of jesus christ we thank you for this day that you have given unto us Father, we know we are going through so many challenges, but with you, everything, we know it will be okay. We pray for our patients, we pray for our families, we pray even for the well wishes we have every day in our lives, that Father, you continue to increase them. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. forgotten, uh, Madam CEO. Kunao wadazi wa meata vijanoa yeah, I was one hundred and thirty-seven. Yes. So yes. 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 I'll be the parent for those watoto. I know the social there are governor to pay your appearance to bring out my money call and be a you tell us but normally we don't do their plans. Their plans is for the sick one. This is what you are talking about, and no more they are okay. No, no, but you are in a situation. Yes. 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 Yes.
Because they are from all over the country and we have to know their homes before we go. Mm. So once we know their home, that's what we need to get to. So far, that is what they are doing. Yes, patient and all the time. Our governor is able to provide that service. We make the whole country aware. We take care of it. Yes. Oh, thank you. Governors will pay for a rakini in a minute of 2027 if they are more to make the country change. I'm doing the work. In Japan, it's a problem. I think the rest of the humanity issue will come with serious effects. Yes, yes. More government and more government. Yes, yes. More government. Bro, you're being expanded. This is catfish. It's catfish. It's not catfish. It's not catfish. You see, it's very fine. Those are very fine. Those are very fine. Those are very fine. Those are First, the underscore gives it. Uh, you don't uh, uh, underscore it. Uh, 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 okay. uh, okay. uh, 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 so uh, we're just from uh, Madare Hospital. Thank you so much, uh, Moshima Sonko and the Madare management for everything you've done. Today has been an amazing day. So, update. We are waiting for feedback from the hospital about the discharge of Eunice uh, Omolo and the discharge of Kimani Mbugwa. Now from there is now when we'll pick it up and know what's happening next. So Nangoja, Moshimiwa Kotayari, Sisi Tukotayari, Nyinyi Mukotayari. So Nangoja, we could not see Eunice Omolo today because by the time we were there, she was on a drip, she was on medication. So Tukasema, ah, to see interfere na hiyo. Yeah, so even when you comment, so let's wait and see how it goes and then we'll also update you guys. But uh, Asante Nisana for the support and also for being there for both of them, for Eunice Omolo and for Kimani Mbukwa.